Hello, my name is Sucket. We are playing Dingbats and Dragons, and we're down here in the basement. I'm starting to think about some other walls upstairs. I'm looking at some of these calcite variants, and I think the cut calcite from Create. I don't know if I can turn these back, maybe? Looks like I might actually be able to do that. That's kind of cool. Can we turn this into the corks? Yeah, we can turn it back into calcite. That's good. Can we do it with this one? Ah, uh, we can turn it into the bricks. I think the calcite bricks from quark and blocks you need and the regular calcite are what we're going to use. Uh, the house is starting to look like something. Needs roofs. Needs detail. We're going to cap this tower out a little bit low. This is going to be separate. Uh, we're going to do some layering back here with the roofs to make it interesting, and then it'll be interesting up front because you'll be able to see three of them. And we're going to move, well, we're going to mess with these towers too. Uh, since we have a mechanic, uh -huh. crying out loud. <laughs> We want, uh, we want some of these gates. We're actually gonna want about a hundred of them. Um, we're gonna want 64 for research. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Let's give them some oak. Now while we're waiting for the gates, we're gonna, gonna fill in up here. We're gonna have a kind of a structure attached to the top of the wall. Alright, our mechanic came through. And if you're using these for yourself, you can just kind of right click down at the bottom and it'll use an appropriate number of them. And then you just right click to open it and to close it. Only the mechanic can make them. There is a metal version, but I thought uh, this, would, uh, this would look better with a uh, kind of general vibe we're going for here. Oh, oh, good news. Warehouse is level 5. That's very exciting. Uh, the reason it's very exciting is because this much this, this allows us to... Oh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Let's check it out real quick. There's still a little bit of dirt. It's definitely still kind of a hobby hole, but... Uh, Got a good amount of storage. Alright, now at level five, here's our basic, you know, double rack. It's the same size as a double chest. At level five, you can go into settings. I guess it costs the blocks of emeralds. That's fine. So for one block of emerald. You can get uh, the first level. Now we have this much room. The second gives us this much room. And the third and final. We now have this much room, which is, you know, this one was probably full. You can see how much more room we just uh, significantly increased the space we have available in here. Up top, we got more of the blue terracotta framed um, in the, uh, what do you call it? The architect's cutter. We're going to take uh, framed spruce planks, just for the time being, and fill the triangle of where the roof is going to be in here completely. not clear what's going to be visible yet and what isn't, but uh, then we have some of this purple and magenta brick extra, which you just it's just the bricks and die, and then whatever base you want in the architect's cutter, and that is going to give us something quite nice up here, I think. We've got a level 2 mystical site now, and it looks like there have been some improvements made to the keg. One of the
of them not being filling it. Now the roof looks pretty good. This is going to need some more though. Now one thing we have that can help us with some detailing is these framed signs. Now what we can do with these is get you know, pretty much any full blocks texture on a sign. So we can do a little bit of stripped oak and get a nice reinforced looking pillar there. Now we can use these panels as a... Oops, it's not quite what I want. I'm not very good at it, but we can use these panels to uh, make some shutters and add a little bit of, little bit of depth here. Now one thing we're going to have a lot of use for are these uh, these metal rung ladders from Engineers Decor. These are really good. Now these planks are the palm planks from uh, the Let's Do the Beach Party. But these have, you know, a lot of these ladders have nice 3D models. These are nice too. Um, but uh, these very industrial looking, very, you know, bolted on after the fact. I really like them. Alright, we're outside of here. There's a surprising amount of room up here. And I think what we may do is turn this into kind of an apartment and we'll live out of here while we're working on the rest of the base and mine colonies and whatever else we're working on instead of like, you know, sleeping out behind a lava tank. So, we'll all have bedroom and a main room. There's going to be a loft. We'll see how it goes. Excuse me, I had an amazing hiccup there. Um, what I said was, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here's the, just the very bare beginning. We're going to have a ladder so we can access the loft up here. We're going to put some storage and some other stuff here. Now one of the mods I'd like to use to help us out up there is Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. I am not uh, quite sure how it all works now. There's something called constructing. So let's see if we can find anything to do with construction. It's this dude jobber, the workbench. Alright. Sure from an electricity generator? What about... Well that probably won't work. Um, what about right on top here? It doesn't connect. Okay. Okay. So we need an electricity generator, I guess. Probably one of these, huh? Okay, here's our electricity generator. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. And I guess we'll put it next to it. It's offline. That looks like a coal burner. Offline. Online! Okay, now we need to find the. Oh, that's a little loud. Okay, we need this wrench. Zoom, 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 zoom. Um, okay, so let's see. Badoom. No power. Aha! Okay, so you right click one and right click the other. Right on those little nodes there. Now this thing has power. So if we wanted to make any of the things from this mod that use this, uh, now we can. What I wanted, and the only reason we ended up down in this little rabbit hole, 
is I wanted to make some of these mangrove lattice fences. So let's see here. Um, it wanted some sticks and it wanted some mangrove. So uh, let's go ahead and give it what it wants. Uh, a little. Okay, we can't shift click in there. But uh, we sure can. Okay, is there a search? Showing all. Show craftable. That's. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's see how these look. Okay, yeah. That is pretty much exactly what I wanted right there. That's very nice. Now, a few more things thrown in here unlock something I'm very interested in, which is this, uh, this ceiling fan. These are delightful. I think they look wonderful. Alright, so we got a bunch of stuff for Mr. Crayfish, because that's how we're going to make it. Apparently, he's in that weird machine. It's okay. Uh, we also have some options. Let's just look at what we have for, you know, mango. So we have Mr. Crayfishes. We got toilets and little stools and the whole bit. We have uh, a couple of things from Quark. We have productive bees. We have... This is more Mr. Crayfish. Do we not have handcrafted? Of course we have handcrafted. Here we go. So there's a bunch of tables. Fancy beds in here. Stuff we can use. We're going to make a couple of these mangrove beds. Maybe just one for up here. Now the thing with the handcrafted upholstery is you're starting... You're going to make, okay, so we need, let me go grab some wool from the colonists. Now I want to think about a uh, little kitchen up there. We're going to have to get some bricks. Oh, it is always something. Okay, we're still waiting for the wool, but uh, we got our bricks. Uh, Farmer's Delight is one of you know, several cooking mods that I'm going to take a really close look at and then figure out how I want to... I want to balance it and actually have it behave in the pack. It's fine by itself. Uh, really, Farmer's Delight is extremely satisfying. Now, this stove and this cooking pot is all vanilla ingredients. And you could use the skillet too, but it's the cooking pot that we're going to be using here. And it's very similar to the stuff that we saw from from Let's Do Bakery. Although I believe farmers came first. Well, once you put this down, you don't need to give it fuel. You clank your pot on top of it. This has a gooey, you have bowls or bottles or whatever. It's, you know, all compatible. You can cook an awful lot in here. And those slackers finally showed up with the wool. Um, let's go back to handcrafted. Get my cursor out of there. It's been real jittery lately. I tried messing with OBS a little bit to see if that would stop. But we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need white cushions, and we're gonna need white sheets. Here we go. And with those, we can make. We're gonna want uh, just one. Mangrove fancy. Oh, what are we missing? We're missing planks. That's fine. We're going to need a bunch anyway. So, this is, you know, th th these are the things that you need. We're also going to need these to change the skins of the bed and anything else that we make. So, what we're going to want to do is uh, we're actually going to want... Maybe three purple cushions. Now we need some more purple dye. We're going to make a purple sheet, too. Oh, these are cool. 
Little corner trim? Why not? Now another mod that we have that's going to be of use to us, um, I'm probably going to need to craft all of this, right? Is decoration delight. This adds uh, a bunch of blocks that fit in with farmer's delight. And this sink especially I think looks pretty cool. So I think Farmer's Delight adds a counter that we'll throw in here. Does this, uh, oh yes it does. So we have, uh, okay. We can probably take buckets of water out of there. That's cool. That's cool. But uh, actually, let's move this to the other side. We'll put it right next to the fridge. We're going to have something else over here. I think we're going to have... Uh, Maybe a little, little relaxing setup. And we'll put. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit makeshift because this is, you know, this is just a little apartment here. But you can see the handcrafted stuff has nice connected textures. The same is true for the beds. Had we been using a double bed, this would also, you know, they would have a nice connected texture. But if you want to change the color of the sheets and the pillows you just right click on them with the relevant sheet and the relevant pillow now the pattern for uh, for purple is is pretty subtle but uh, you know some of them are are pretty cool so uh, you know that is how you get the colors you want and for the couches you just right click with the pillows and with all of these connected textures or no you can totally mix and match them so uh, they're pretty cool we're also going to want a cutting board from Farmer's Delight up there. And I think we have a knife from Farmer's Line. Yeah, we got a couple of them. Any of them breaking? Ah, this is fine. Alright, I'm going to feel real silly if that last clip didn't, uh, didn't record. Now, once, one mod I have installed that I've never messed with before, and I have no idea how it really works, um, is the Devices mod. This looks gonzo. Um, if we wanted to make a laptop, right, we would have to start with a screen. Now we don't we don't even have any of the glass, but that's not. Uh, oh, look at that! Ultra wide. That's got possibilities. What else do we have? Okay, we have routers. We have flash drives. I don't know. Solid state drives. All right. Let's start goofing. Um, we need either a solid state drive or a hard disk drive. This we can make right now. We would need a battery. This we can make right now. Okay. We will need a completed motherboard. Okay. Here's here's where we get bonkers. So for a CPU, we'll need a block of diamond, which is actually not that bad. Um, let's go back Oh my gosh, look at that. To add the required components, place the motherboard and the corresponding component. This is wild. This is wild. So these must be all of the different things that we could add to the motherboard. So maybe what we'll do is make the motherboard first. Let's get some glass going. Okay, my mic did get disconnected there for a minute, but the computer speaker picked it up. I wonder how often that's been happening. Anyway, let's uh, let's go back to our motherboard here. We've got our daylight detector. I guess we don't have any glass yet. Where's our glass, folks? It didn't do. Should have done. Okay, it's fine. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I got uh, 
just confused. So we'll need a daylight detector, we'll need a comparator, we'll need a repeater. And you know, we got two iron crafters back here. We might as well. Um, we could probably make, okay, we have plenty of patterns, so let's make, we're, we're going to switch over to diamond crafters, I think. We will need to uh, teach this thing a new trick, which is the neural processor. It's really not that bad. Um, it's just obsidian processors that we already have recipes in for. We will need, do we need to teach this thing how to make a crafting table? We do not. Okay, this is really going to help us out. We'll flip this around so it matches all the other ones. These have a ton of rows. Now the interesting part here is the circuit board. Nether bricks, huh? I've been grinding up all the netherrack for blaze rods. We will have to go ahead and grab some from the colony. Okay, I actually ended up reading up a few more redstone bees, because they were not keeping up. We got one motherboard. Okay, very good. Now we have circuit boards, the completed motherboard, the central processing unit, a little bit of RAM, a graphics processing unit, that will need RAM. We got Wi-Fi. We got a hard drive. A flash chips. Battery. Okay, that's... We need the CPU for the motherboard, certainly. Um, for this, we're gonna need to craft a clock. We're going to need a diamond block. And we're going to need another one of those circuit boards. Very good. Alright. One central processing unit. We'll probably need two of these RAM, at least from what it's looking like so far, right? We're going to need more, okay, let's, uh, we're going to need uh, more circuit boards, so let's make the, do we have enough juice for this? We do. Okay, I think we got it. Let's go ahead and make two of these. Now, the motherboard also needs uh, GPU and Wi-Fi. Here's our GPU. We'll need three more circuit boards. All right, that's interesting. Um, and then the motherboard also needs Wi-Fi, which is this last one over here. We have all the bits for this. Let's go ahead and grab the motherboard. And we need a CPU, the RAM the GPU, and the Wi-Fi. Very nice. And then we can make this into the different colors of laptops once we have all the rest of this stuff. Now we have a drive. We have the battery. What are we missing? Um, anything? Let's see. Oh, okay, we don't have a screen, so we're going to need green stained glass. Let's get that together. Okay. One laptop. Now let's see. Okay, we open it with shift right click. Aha! It's on. No net. We got, uh, let's see. We can create stuff. Okay, we don't really have any files. Any application data? There is a tooltip. Okay, rename. 
new folder, copy, cut, paste, delete. Okay, well, we, we'd have to get them in there, I guess. Um, home, same thing. Settings, about. Okay, personalize. Wallpaper. Hey! Ooh, ooh. I like these. I really like that, though. Okay. Nice. Also, we have the app market. Okay. G and O verified by Ultrion team. We have search. We have manage. Okay, get web, Mr. Crayfish, mine, Chrome, none, pixel painter, Endermail, note stash. Let's see. Okay, well, we, we would probably need to be able to get online with this thing to be able to use those. I think there's a way to do that, though. Now, there's one thing that it looks like we're going to need a good bit of, and it's this unrefined plastic. Um, I don't know if we have, I don't think we have recipes for these coated in, but let's deal with that. All right, you take this stuff, you smelt it into this stuff, and then it's a crafting ingredient. Also, we use it to make, I think, even other crafting ingredients. Yep, so uh, we'll need a good bit of this. How are we doing with that? We're doing fine. Let's, let's just go ahead. And we'll make half a stack of these, and that should get us going. I'm paused. The raiders have started to get interesting. We're not getting pirate ships out here. Let's, uh, let's back off a little bit. <laughs> these are mummies. They're, they're mostly the same, except the chief is a missile guy. And shoots fire. Um, it can be uh, it can be an issue, but this is the highlighting that I was talking about. When there's some gold in the barracks, you can hire them on the fly too. Um, but it won't let you do that if there's a raid actively happening. Oh, these guys. We're gonna have to get some better gear, folks. Like, they're like a legit threat. Ooh, we finally got him. That was actually a rough fight. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> Plastic should be done. We'll make three of the sheets, and the router, and we're gonna need an ethernet cable. We should be able to just make that, that's fine. And can we get something creative? Let's see. You know, we're just gonna go with a chiseled bookshelf to put it on, because I think we actually have some books to put in it. All right, let's see. There's our router. Right click the device. Shift right click. Okay. Cable's invisible, so we could probably actually have connected this like across the room or something. But let's see, yeah. Yeah, we're online. Okay, let's uh Let's see what we have. How do you actually do this? Okay, here we go. Double click. GitHub is a web browser. That's uh, community driven, which means websites you browse are created by other players. We're going to install it. Chromium based web browser. Makes use of JCEF. Let's, uh, let's do it up. 
I'd imagine this is going to take a minute. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at our... Okay, so this, this isn't where our applications are. Let's see, how do we actually do this? <laughs> IP leaking via GitHub, IP leaking via wallpapers, potential. I'm not super worried about GitWeb. This is so weird and specific. Um, can we actually run it though? Let me mess around. Okay, there are like little, uh, little X's that I couldn't even see. They're like right up there. So, is there actually anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Taskbar. There we go. Okay. It's a working web browser if you'd like to add your own website. You can enter the address. You can't enter real websites. Okay. So, there's a list here. We have Minecromatic, and we have test. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, can we run this thing? Minecromatic, download now. I thought we did. I wonder if there's some pop-up window on the desktop saying, hello, oh, Java, blue de blue de blue de blue Anyway, it's actually kind of cool. What's our pixel painter here? Oh, we'll check it out another time. Now we've collected a comedic amount of wax, 16,000. We don't, we don't need more wax. We're going to keep generating it, though. So we're going to make a void upgrade. Uh, it's just obsidian. And any drawer, and then anything that gets uh, pumped into the system that has one of these upgrades in the drawer will just be deleted, and it's fine. You can see it counting down there. Okay, so it looks like actually the GitHub link that that Minecrome is on is uh, it's a 404. So what are you going to do? Um, I think we're going to call it here. We're starting to run a little long, but uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.